So today's gonna be a little unique. I'm actually using two cameras, which I've never done before. I'm gonna do instructions on how to make a necklace, which I've never done before. I just wanted to share something special that is to me. When I'm walking down the beach, find something extraordinary and fragile, um, I will pick that up. There's, a, there's something that I do as an adult. As children, you find shells on the beach. So what I will do with these um, type, what I do with these shells whenever I find them is I pick up a few of these myself. Um, I walk the beach every single day. I walk it at six in the morning after a high tide I to find these very cool shells. Then what I do is I bring them back in a bag. No time do I have more than seven, eight, nine, ten of, of these type of things. Whenever I see kids, kids with their bags, four-year-olds, five-year-olds going down the beach, the most special thing in the world is to walk 20 feet in front of them and drop these shells. A minute or two later, that four-year-old, that five-year-old comes across this. Their eyes go huge. When I walk down the beach, what I look for are shark's teeth. Um, they're very tiny. I have no idea how many teeth a shark has. I've never looked into it. I know they drop them a lot because depending upon which beach I'm at, I find these suckers all the time. Um, the only way that I know how to do it, they constantly break. I put them in my pocket, they get broken. What I do is I put a wire around them and then I have this little jar, a little container full of these. Now, it's very rare I haven't done anything with it, so today what I'm gonna do is show you how to put them onto a choker necklace, put the shark's tooth there. That's what this is all about. So hopefully you enjoy this. You look for shells about the same size. Um, these guys are on a beach just down the road. There are, the difference is, there are different colors. There's white ones and gray ones and black ones. Um, they get very, very shiny. I think it's just in the sand as they wash out, they get shiny. Uh, the reason I like these is they have holes in it on both sides. And what you're able to do is get a string through it. So take two strings, tie them together at the end. I'm sorry I did that. I did that just before we started this here. Um, lace, I had to remember because it's been a long time since I've done this. Start weeding it through um, and I'll show it to you right now. Hopefully this will get picked up on camera. I'll adjust one of these cameras down just to capture it. Tie a knot. One string goes in this way, just up and through, and the second string goes the second direction. So one goes in the front, one goes in the back. And then as you weed it down, it becomes in line with the rest. Now, you can order this into it to where they all face the exact same way. They all face in, they all face out. I kind of like the split process with it. Um, there's something else I'm gonna do right now is because I have this mix of different color shells, what I'm gonna do today is, I'm gonna see some of these are a little grayer than others. Um, and because the tooth that I'm going to use is kind of in the middle between the two of them, I am going to do it with a pattern. And my pattern is just gonna be two of the, the lighter shells, then two of the darker shells, um, and we'll go through that way. So I'm just gonna do this one through. I will speed up the video so it will make sense um, and you can see it so I don't have to go through every little step here on this camera 
and keep speaking. So, I'll see you in a moment. All right, so besides the shark teeth, um, I do find little shells, shells and stones and everything else that could go into the necklace. So, pardon me, I changed the camera angle just because the sun is there. So, I just go down the beach, find things. Most of them, actually, the birds do the holes for you. There's a couple little ones that might be cool. This one is just like a petrified shell. So I'm gonna try something, I'm trying it for the first time here. I'm Not as efficient as the birds that do it. However, there is a nice hole. There's a nice hole that a string will fit right through. So we'll take it over. We'll try it on the necklace that we're making right now. Here's another option that we have. I like this very simple shell. So the shark's teeth that we find, um, if we're lucky, we get some more shark's teeth. Uh, we'll wrap those up in wire. This also goes to show that whether it's a bird that makes it for you, or in a minute you make it with a drill, you could put a couple holes in some weathered shells. Let's see what they look like hanging from the necklace. So this is the type of thing that I'm referring to is if you're gonna take something from the beach, make it small, make it minor, make it special and meaningful. All right, time for some fast forward video. One thing I did notice that, uh, A, I haven't done this in quite some time, my, my fingers were a little more nimble at that moment when I've done it in the past. Um, I'm sure I'll get much better at it. You know, I'm thinking about it now and uh, I absolutely appreciate you. This is a great time to ask um, that you're watching Sun Sand Surf on YouTube. Um, the channel, what my intention here is the channel is to actually visit all the beaches here in California. Um, to show what the differences are. Some of them will be in depth. They'll also refer to the town, the pier, everything that there is to do there. Um, other ones might just be what the sand is like. And, and um, I absolutely appreciate you here. So please go ahead. It, it would do me a great favor if you hit subscribe and hit like. It would do a lot for me and allow me to make these type of videos that I could spend some of this day, some of my time um, putting this together for you. I absolutely appreciate every like that you give, every comment that you make. In fact, this was somebody asked a comment about shells and that's what led to this idea. So please leave a comment below. I'm happy to help. I'm happy to do something along those lines. Um, what I'm gonna do with this necklace is actually give it to one of the subscribers. So um, one of the subscribers that are there, I will take a look at it and at the end of the month, I will do one. Um, Perhaps depending upon how many shark's teeth I have, maybe I'll just use different shells. I could do one of these a month. Totally happy to do that. Um, it would also be good for my dexterity so I could be better at tying these knots. Again, thank you for watching.
that's about a midway point. Eight, nine, here will be 10 shells. So I will make this, I have a larger neck. I'm a larger person. And because I will be giving this one away, I will choose somebody smaller for this, be it a child, be it a woman, uh, be it somebody who's less than me. In fact, most people are smaller than me anyhow, so it's okay. Um, that will make this one nice. So this is gonna be at the midway point. And by the way, so what I do with this is I start with this little waxy cable um, you can get at the, any local store, um, Walmart or so on. It's really, really inexpensive. Um, I start with about 30 inches. I cut two 30 inch strands. Uh, and that allows all of these knots to get tied into it and to make whatever length that you want to do. Um, I'm about halfway around a neck and have more than half of the string left. So if you were to do this guy here, you would do the same thing, tie one on either end, tie it around the top like this, and then that would hang down as it. In this case, we want to use the shark's tooth. This is the one I found in La Jolla, um, just sitting at a rock, and it was next to me. A uh, little bit of advice, if you are out looking for shark's teeth, they are all over the place, um, wherever the sharks are, by all means. This is a little guy. I love the longer ones, but when this bit breaks off, you're unable to do anything with it. The, um, so tying it on, having that hang there is what it's for. Um, that's just a little bit of wire to make that work. I'm gonna put it in place by tying the, both ropes around it, both of the strings around this loop. You just take a little wire, uh, also in the art supplies place. That wave almost got me. Just take a little bit of wire and you wrap it and then twist it. So let's see if I can have this one hang down a little bit more. No, I'll put this right up against the edge. We'll go true choker fashion. Same thing here. Again, there's probably a better way of doing this. It's just my way. Uh, I don't do it often. So back to it. I was in La Jolla, I was in San Diego and uh, at an awesome place called Black's Beach. I did an old review of it about a year ago and I will update that here shortly because it is a, a beach that you have to be at a certain time to film, let's just say. Um, I have to wait for a few more, ooh, that water got me. Um, a few more people to disappear from the beach before I can do my filming there. Um, so anyway, this is what it's gonna look like. The, um, there are a lot of white sharks in uh, La Jolla, in San Diego area, and um, there was a king tide. And whenever there is a king tide, I'm gonna tie this one more time here. Whenever there is a king tide, washes up that's when the it's when the water goes all the way up on the beach um, really far and what that tends to do is leave this water is getting me I fear for the camera um, the surfers have a good time though the uh, what it does it, it does those long lines of shells the next morning so I happen to be there at Black's Beach. I was there at five in the morning and right after a king tide and I was walking it and I ended up finding three shark's teeth at that point, including this one, which I just masterfully messed up, but it's okay. It's a happy accident. 
All right, so I just double knotted that and I'm gonna do a knot on the outside. So what there was is there was a knot on one side of it. I put, then I stuck it. I did a couple knots into the wire itself and now I'm doing a knot on the opposite side so it will look the same. Does that look the same? Wow, again, a 10 year old would probably do better at this, but so if you know of a 10 year old, get them some shells and shark teeth. If you're interested to know where there, these type of shells, these are awesome. These are at San Ofri, the, the big snails that come through. Again, it's unique. I'm here in Newport Beach in Orange County. These shells are a little bit more unique. They do wash up. However, um, there are kids there, a little older, might go to him. Um, there's a lot of kids doing surf camp. So it's the perfect time for me to go drop these off. So when I'm done filming here, I will go ahead and put those down. Uh, the kids at surf camp usually have a little brother or sister. Um, and these are great to drop. San Ofri, uh, here as well, and San Ofri. Uh, just really, really cool. These guys are basically at every single beach. Uh, right here at Huntington, just at the tip of Huntington. They don't, most of these are broken. Um, up the way, down by the wedge, there are more um, in Laguna. These guys are drop or wash up all the time, so it's kind of cool. Anyway, all right, I'll go fast forward again. By the way, I really appreciate you watching this. This is cool. As my planning or my fat fingers as I tied a couple extra knots. Um, this necklace is now a bit shorter. I have 10 on one side and fewer on the other and I don't want to use the rest of that string because I want to tie it together. The cool part is as I put this around it actually goes all the way around my neck already. As I, It's what you can make for yourself. It will be a nice little memory. Um, a nice memory of a visit to the beach for yourself. Again, I will, I'm happy to give this away, um, but I will give this, um, I have daughters who are now adults. I would help them it, when they have children and I become a grandfather. Um, I will be happy to make these for the grandbabies. Um, maybe not with the shark's teeth, maybe a teething ring, I'm not sure. Thank you very much. Again, uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video as we, as we explore the beaches up and down all of California. I will hit every beach. Uh, I, please drop in the comments if you'd like to see anything different. Um, perhaps I will do another one where I, my math skills are working out better. Um, this has been a pleasure. This is, couldn't be a better day and I'm glad to spend it here with you. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and sharing. Have a great day. All right, one thing I did notice that, uh, A, I haven't done this in quite some, there was like a 10 year old, like little 10 year old fingers. These would be perfect. Um, I know Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Um, I'd say she probably should have just made some necklaces.
people would appreciate them a lot more. Old Sally. Good old Sally. I, I honestly wonder why she sold them at the seashore as opposed to away from it. Um, I figured everybody could find their own shells. 